Family, if you're between the ages 12 to 16, or you're a parent of a 12 to 16 year old, or if you have a love and a passion for the age group 12 to 16, this is for you. We have some exciting news where we are launching our youth service on the 22nd of January 2023, which is specifically focused on the ages 12 to 16. We will be preaching specifically on relevant topics that they deal with on a daily basis. And we are so excited to really ignite something in each one of their hearts. So please make sure that every 12 to 16 year old does not miss out on this life-changing opportunity. And then to every person that is not involved in a serving ministry yet and you truly have a passion a love for this generation you want to make an impact in each one of these teenagers lives there is an opportunity for you to get involved to serve we have ushers hostesses we have the altar workers we have security we have our youth and student band we have media and we have so much more so if you would like to get involved join us and visit us at our youth and students booth in the foyer or visit us on our crc website crcchurch.com crc it's that time of the year again to be a blessing we are going to give bears many 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 bears to children all over pretoria bloemfontein and johannesburg kids that are in cancer wards kids that are struggling with sickness and disease kids that are hopeless kids that will be lonely over the festive season please do your part bring a bear to church if you can't get to church Give a bear to somebody to bring the bear to church. We want to go put a smile on people's face, and that is what we are going to do. Throughout December, this festive season, we want to take care of little children, and I pray to God we have thousands of bears so that we can go beyond the hospitals, and we can go everywhere where a child needs a hug. Amen. Everybody needs some love. Everybody needs a hug. Let's put a smile on people's faces in Jesus' name. And also, we will talk about what the women are going to be doing going into old age homes, going and giving hope to all the women that are suffering during this time. Let's not make Christmas just about ourselves. Let us be the hands of Jesus in our world. Come on, bears care. Give your bear and show that you care in Jesus' name. Amen. Family, please note that we will be having nine o'clock services on Sunday, the 25th of December and the 1st of January, 2023. Be sure to invite your world.
family and thank you for tuning in to our live broadcast. We have an amazing evening in store for you. Yes, it is here. Our Christmas production will be on shortly. <laughs> but now I would like you to count down with us. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go.
Jesus is our strength, and He will come again. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Those who war against you shall be as nothing, as a non-existent thing. For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. is Jesus Christ. I am Goliath! Here and now, I challenge the Israelite army. I dare you to pick someone to fight me. Is this the man you sent to fight me? <laughs> Come on! I will give your body to the birds and animals to eat. You come against us with sword, spear, and javelin. But I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the Israelite armies, which you have defied. This very day, my God shall put all of you in my power, and I will defeat you. Then the whole world shall know that Israel has a God, and everyone here shall see that the Lord does not need sword or spear to save his people, for he is victorious in battle, and he will put you in our power. <laughs> you can't fight me, boy. Bring me a real warrior. <laughs> The battle has been won and the foe has been overcome. We are enforcing his defeat. We do not accept the powers of darkness to take us out of our place. We keep ourselves in a place of authority, in a place of strength, and we refuse to give up territory. Jesus Christ is our helper. Oh. We were taught in kids' church that no matter what the enemy has planned for God's children, Jesus will always step in and help us. Just like David, I know my strength comes from Jesus. He's a helper in times of trouble. You know, ma'am, David was called a man after God's own heart. He trusted in God so much that he first to John Doe's work. Okay, okay, Kofi, please, just calm. sit, sit. You guys, you need to calm down. We're running out of time. We need to get back to the reason for the season, right? On that note, Teacher Letitia, would you please assist me in singing another Christmas classic? I'm sure you've all heard of it. Oh, come let us adore. From Jesus, of course. <laughs>
He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. For 430 years, the Israelites, known as God's people, were controlled and beaten by the Egyptian army until God raised up a man, Moses, to lead his people out of slavery and into victory. 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 again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. Moses, tell the people to move forward. Lift up your staff and hold it out over the sea. The water will divide and the Israelites will be able to walk through the sea on dry ground. I will make the Egyptians so stubborn that they will go in after them and I will gain honor by my victory over the king, his army, his chariots, and his drivers. When I defeat them, the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. who you are, a way maker, a miracle worker, a promise keeper. Some trust in horses, some trust in chariots, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. We put our trust in the living God. We put our trust in God for breakthrough so that we can receive the power of God in the name of Jesus. Shout Amen! Jesus Christ, our deliverer. Just like that, after 430 years of slavery, Jesus saved the Israelites in one night. Ma'am, he can do the same for you today, tonight, now. Uh, My favorite story is about Daniel in the lion's den. You know, if you bumped into a lion at the Kruger National Park, he wouldn't think twice but to just eat you up. Yeah. Roar, roar, roar. Roar. Oh, roar. oh, sorry. Let's settle down. Settle down. Let's get back to the story. Remember the reason for the season? My mom says they're the king of the jungle. And when they roar, everyone can hear it. Roar. 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 Well, did your mom tell you about the time God saved Daniel from the lions? Daniel was thrown into a lion's den because he prayed to God, even though the king gave orders that for 30 days, no one can request or pray to anyone else except the king. Wow, That's what amazing. happened next? Well, God defended Daniel by shutting the lion's mouth and he saved him. <laughs> well, I guess the lions weren't in the mood for Daniel still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Kara. Wow. 
I guess God really came through for Daniel, huh? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Daniel is outshining us all. The king trusts him above us. He has to fall. We are not gonna find anything of which to accuse Daniel unless it's something in connection with his relationship with God. Let's convince the king to give orders that for 30 days no one be permitted to request anything from any god or from any human being except from your majesty. Anyone who violates this order is to be thrown into a pit filled with lions. <laughs> god, there is no one like you. You are the creator of the universe. You are all I need. Today, I choose to pray to you because you made me. You formed me. Every, I cannot deny that everything I am and everything I have comes from you. <laughs> I don't care what people plot against you, what people plan against you. God is your defense. God is your deliverer. God is your judge. God is your savior. God will not abandon you. God will shut the lion's mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, our defender. about Jesus. My mom said that whenever I am scared, I should think of Danny in the lion's den. Whenever someone tries to pressure me into doing something that is different to what God's word says, I stand up, I place my hand on my heart, and I pray. Jesus is my defender. Just like he defended Daniel, he will defend yes. yeah. me. Amen. Wow. That's a really valuable lesson, Oratile. Class, I want us to all stand and practice this together. Okay, yes, you too, my big class. Let's all stand together. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> that means you too. Let's go. Okay, so we're all going to put our hand on our heart, right? And we're going to close our eyes and we're going to pray together. On the count of three. We all got it? Okay, put your hand on your heart. You too, Shanae, come on. Okay, one, two, three. Jesus is my defender. Just, Just like, like he, he defended, defended Daniel, he will to defend me. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was so beautiful. Well done. This actually reminds me of Jesus' birth. How for hundreds of years, people were told about a defender that would come and save him. And there he was. <laughs> Jesus Christ was born and we will forever have a defender. Wow, we're gonna sing a lovely song about Jesus being the light of the world. Yes. <laughs> the world 
heart waits for a miracle The heart longs for a little bit of hope Oh come, oh come Emmanuel A child prays for peace on earth And she's calling out from a sea of hurt Oh come Oh, come, Emmanuel. And can you hear the angels singing? Glory to the light of the world. Is of a mother, a baby's cry is the sound of love. Come down, come down, Emmanuel. Oh, here's the song for the suffering. Here's Messiah, the Prince of Peace has come. He has come, Emmanuel. to know what my favorite story is in the Bible? Of course! Oh, please. Yes, yeah? Yes. Did you know the story of Joseph? Mm. Joseph? How he did the right thing, but he was treated unfairly, falsely accused, and thrown into prison. <gasps> That's unfair! Yes. Ma'am, what does falsely accused mean? Oh, well, I know. Yeah, Kofi? When your ma- sister tells your mom you ate the last cookie, even though you know yep. she uh, ate yes, of course. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. That's right. Because of someone else's lie, Joseph was imprisoned, even though God promised him that one day he would rule and have influence. But Jesus kept his promises to Joseph. That's right. That's right. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures through all the generations. 
The Lord is trustworthy in all He promises and faithful in all He does. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word and promises of our God endures forever. to me first you promised me that I will rule over a nation and all would bow before me then I was sold by my own flesh and blood my brothers deserted by my father after years of working tirelessly for Potiphar faithful obedient and trustworthy just cast away by one single lie he didn't even hear my side of the story the truth. But the Lord was with Joseph and made him successful. Where are you taking us? Stop it! We have angered our royal master. We must now face the consequences. The king of Egypt's wine steward and his chief baker offended the king. He was angry with these two officials and put them in prison in the house of the captain of the guard, in the same place where Joseph was being kept. They spent a long time in prison, and the captain assigned Joseph as their servant. Why do you look so worried? Each of us had a dream, and there's no one here to explain what the dreams mean. It's God who gives the ability to interpret dreams. Tell me your dream. What does my dream mean? What does it mean? This is what it means. well with you and please be kind enough to tell the king about me so I can get out of here after all I was kidnapped out of the land of the Hebrews and even here in Egypt I didn't do anything wrong to land up in prison our God is still the same our God is still able he's faithful even when we are unfaithful he remains faithful even if we give up on our vision he doesn't give up on us even when we run away from God, He runs after us. He's a faithful God. Never going to turn His back on you. Never going to give up on you. I woke up with such a fright after my dream. Is there not a single person in all the land who can interpret my dream? What if the dream speaks about the future? I will not be able to sleep again if I don't know what this dream means. My king! My king, one night the chief baker and I each had a dream and, and they both had different meanings. We, we were in prison with a young Hebrew. He, he, he was a slave of the captain of the guard. He interpreted the dreams for us. His name, his, his name was Joseph. Get Joseph now so that he can interpret my dream. Yes, my king. Are you Joseph? Yes, my king. I've had a dream and no one can explain it to me. I've been told that you can interpret dreams. I cannot, your majesty, but God will give a favorable interpretation. God has 
showed you all of this. So it's obvious that you have more insight and wisdom than anyone else. I will put you in charge of my country and all my people will obey your orders. Your authority will be second only to mine. Jesus, you are a promise keeper. Jesus Christ, our promise keeper. Man, do you know what I love about all the stories we share today? I'm curious to hear your thoughts, Kofi. I love that God always had a plan for his people. Yeah. I love that throughout the Bible, God never gave up on his children. Every time someone was in trouble, he came through. Yes. yes. Like when God helped David defeat Goliath. God delivered Moses and the Israelites from the Egyptians. Okay. Jesus shut the lion's mouth and defended Daniel from the enemy. Come on. And Jesus kept his promise to Joseph and even made a way for escape. That is who Jesus is and that is why God sent Jesus to be born for us. He always oh. makes a way for us to escape. Jesus Christ is our way maker. Jesus Christ, our way maker. Just like in each and every one of these Bible stories, Jesus' intervention gives us the confidence that we can and will make it through any situation. The promise and reality of Jesus' birth gives us the confidence that we can have a real and intimate relationship with our Heavenly Father. Oh, I've got the perfect song to celebrate this amazing story of love. I'm sure you know the song Noel. Oh, yes, let's sing it together. You ready? Let's go. Beautiful.
God coming down to earth and sending us a savior in Jesus Christ. Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice, man. He made a way for us to have an intimate relationship with God. Yes, he is our defender, deliverer, promise keeper, and way maker. Amen. Jesus is our savior. Yes. Ma'am, I think we're ready for the rest of the story now. The one about Jesus' birth. The one that you've been trying to tell us all along? Yeah. He says, about Mary, Jesus, and Joseph. Yeah. But of course. I now realize why the announcement of the birth of Jesus Christ was such a joyous occasion. God and all of heaven knew that Jesus would be the ultimate sacrifice. Oh, taking our place on the cross breaking the hold of sin and shame over our lives. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I know that God chose Mary, an ordinary servant of God, to give birth to our King Jesus. That's right, Kofi. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph, but before the marriage took place, an angel visited her and said, Peace be with you. The Lord is with you and has greatly blessed you. Yeah. Then he continued to share with her that she would become pregnant with a son and call him Jesus. Then he said that the Holy Spirit would come upon her and that God's power would rest on her. That's why he would be called the Son of God. And Mary answered, I am the Lord's servant. Let everything you said happen to me. We learned in Kids Church that when Mary was already pregnant with Jesus, a census well done. Mm -hmm. This means that they wanted to count how many people there were. This census required that people travel back to their place of birth. So Mary and Joseph traveled back to Bethlehem. But when they got there, all the places to stay were already full. They looked around and eventually they found a place in a stable where Mary gave birth to the Son of Man, Jesus Christ. Then she wrapped him in a cloth and laid him in a manger. <laughs> Boys and girls, the day Jesus was born was a day that God had planned long before the foundations of the earth were even formed. Ultimately, God is the God of breakthrough. When the angel came to Mary and told her that she would carry the Son of God, she humbly obeyed. But little did she know the impact that her obedience would have on all of humanity. The incredible breakthrough, the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus, would lead to. Amen. Amen. That's so good. Behold, the Lamb of God was sent for us. The Father's Son in the angels sing. Oh.
He gives us victory through our Lord, Jesus Christ. Wow, Joseph, can you believe it? Oh, oh, God is so faithful. He has been so good to me, to us. How great is God, Jesus. My son, God's son, the savior of the world. To think that he would choose us to be part of his plan and purpose. So <laughs> wait, wait, what is that? What do you mean? Look, 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 come, come, come. Glory to God in the highest And be peace on earth And good will to all mankind Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which God has shown us. What if this is it? The promised Messiah, our Savior that will free us from slavery. <laughs> we were out in the field going about our business when suddenly the sky was filled with a holy angelic choir. And they said, glory to God in the highest, peace on earth and goodwill toward men. And after hearing what the angels sang, we knew we had to come see for ourselves. And now, here we are in the presence of the Savior of the world. the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinners reconciled joyful all ye nations rise join the triumph of the skies Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn King. Glory to the King. Christ by Yeah. 
of peace Hail the sun of righteousness Light and life to all he brings Risen with healing in his wings Mild he lay his glory Christ, God's ability and power is released into our lives. So, so you, you can, can be brave. brave. And enabling us to do what is seemingly impossible. When Jesus started his ministry here on earth, it was during one of the most oppressive times in history. But nothing could stop the move of God. And the same for us. No matter the chances we face, we know that in 2023, God says that things yeah. are gonna happen so fast. Yeah. Yeah. One thing fast than the heel of another. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening all at once. And everywhere you look, blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll make everything right again for my people in South Africa. All you yeah. have to do is believe. Amen. Jesus Christ wants to be all of this and more to you tonight. Surrender your life to Him and let Him take His rightful place as God of your life. I'm running back to the arms of the Father. Not going back, I'm stepping ahead.
tonight in this place. All the CRC churches, come on, this is what Christmas is all about. What a brilliant production. We'll talk about it in a moment and honor everybody. But um, tonight it's all about you. Sitting up there in the balcony in Bloemfontein. In all our churches tonight, it's about you. And when Jesus came 2,000 years ago, it was because of the love he has for you. And how beautifully that, those children illustrated that everything in the Old Testament pointed to a Savior that was to come. I know we want to fix ourselves and we want to save ourselves sometimes. And there are so many people right now trying to save the planet, save the whales, save the dolphins, save the birds, save everything. And those may be good causes for people. But I want to tell you the only thing that we can save that matters is a soul and a human being. And the only thing that matters to God tonight is people. That's you, my friend. Misschien is jy nooit dier jou oom, jou vriend, jou tanne, jou neef, jou nichie. Maar ek wil vir jou sê vanavond is hier, want God wil jou aanraak. One thing about December is it's a time that people reflect. Oh, people party, people celebrate, but then there's a time that people reflect. And God forbid that there are people in this place or in any of our churches standing tonight, tens of thousands of people, that you will not see the end of this year. May God keep you. The sad reality is that people die every day. The Bible says death comes as a thief in the night. And when Jesus came, it was to save you. It was to deliver you and to bring you back to God. Today people try to find peace in so many different places. And over this time especially, many people get lost and look for some sense to what it's all about. And I mean, that teacher was a good illustration. Like, okay, let's, let's not get too religious. Yo. Let's not really talk about what it's all about. We better talk about what it's all about. It's about Jesus. It's not the presents. It's not the Christmas tree. It's not the lights. It's not everything else. It's not even time with your family, which is great. It really is about Jesus Christ and the love that he has for you. And the fact that when he came into this earth, it was a new dispensation announced by a choir from heaven. Peace on earth and goodwill toward all mankind. And I want to tell you tonight that the Christmas story is the Jesus story is the greatest love story ever told. That God so loved the world, an undeserving world, a world who hated Him, a world who despised God, a world who had wanted nothing to do with God. And yet God said, no, I love you too much. I'm coming out of heaven. I'm stepping down from heaven and I'm putting on flesh. I'm coming as a little baby and I'm going to identify with everything you will ever face as a human being so that I can be your savior. Not only get you to heaven, but so I can be the one who will walk you through life. As I said this morning, that friend that sticks closer than a brother, that one who has your back, that one who will never leave or forsake you. I think sometimes, and it's true in America, maybe in South Africa, people go to church twice a year. Christmas and Easter. Well, thank God it's not Christmas, but it's our carols by candlelight. And, uh, but the issue this evening is, if you died, would you go to heaven? Can you passionately say like those kids did tonight, I know him? Not about him. I know him. Or maybe at one time you did follow him and you served him. And tonight God brought you to this place through this production to get your attention. Yes, I'm talking to you up there in the balcony hiding away. There where something is happening, where God is working, where God is stirring. I praat met jou oom vanavond. I praat met jou, but I'll stand vanavond, young mens. And I will for you say, I can not free and geluk ervaar sonder God in sy liefde nie. En dat hierdie Jesus ding nie een godsdienstige ding is nie. Is nie een traditie nie. Is nie een kerkgewoonte nie. Dis een verhouding. Want hy het gekom om jou te red. 
He came to fix you. He came to deliver you. He came to save you. And none of us can do that by ourselves. I want every head bowed, every eye closed. People praying all over this place. They're in Bloomfontein in all our churches. You're standing here tonight. You say, you know, as I watch tonight, I realize that my life is not right with God. And maybe tonight something is happening in your heart. Can we put a little bit more light in the auditorium? Something is happening in my heart and I want to get right with God. I want to come back to Jesus. I want to make a decision and have a fresh start with God. Because what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and he loses himself? Tonight I want to tell you that Jesus loves you unconditionally. That He loves you endlessly. And that there is nothing you can do that can ever separate you from the love that God has for you. And you are not here by accident. He's knocking at your heart tonight and He's urging you, calling you to surrender your life to Him. To give your life back to Him. How many of us were like those children? I was one of them. Groot gewold in die kerk. Gebid, bybelverse gelees. En geleer, toe dwal ek weg van die Heere. How many people were like those kids? They were in Sunday school. They were lovers of God. Then life happened. And they wandered away from God. Some of you, your mother sang every night. Some of you, your mother prayed for you every night. And you have forgotten and wandered away for, for whatever reason. Come back to Jesus tonight. Come back to your Savior tonight. Give Jesus His rightful place in your life tonight. Come receive forgiveness tonight. Receive peace tonight. Receive a new beginning tonight because that's what Jesus came to bring. You're standing here tonight. You say, Pastor, you're talking to me. I need a fresh start with God, a new beginning. I want to surrender my life back to God. Then I want to pray for you. While every head is bowed, every eye closed, forget the people around you. Tonight you say, I want to surrender all to Jesus. Or I want to give my life to Jesus for the first time. Or maybe like the prodigal son, you've walked away from your father's house. And tonight, you want to come back to God. In your heart tonight, every head bowed, every eye closed. You're saying tonight, that's me. I need a new beginning. I need a fresh start with God. If that's you, quietly, wherever you are, just slip your hand up. I want to say a prayer for you quickly. All over this place, just raise your hand up. Raise it up. Up, 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 all over this place. God bless you, many hands. God bless you, bless you, bless you. Just slip it up. Thank you up there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, bless you, bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Up there, 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 everywhere. Many of you tonight. Okay. We're going to pray tonight. And we are going to pray with you. And we are going to pray for you to make a decision for Jesus tonight. Many of you brought your friends. We know that you can be Andrew tonight who brought... Peter to Jesus. You can bring your world to Jesus. All over this place. If you raised your hand, there in Bloemfontein, the thousands there, in all our churches, from Cape Town, Durban, wherever you are tonight, tonight is about you. Jesus came for you. This is not just a production to entertain you. This is a production to get your attention. For God to get your attention. So you can come tonight and say, I need a Savior. So all over this place, you've raised your hand. You want to get right with God, recommit yourself to God, give your life to Jesus. I want you to take your Bible, your personal belongings, whatever you brought to church so it doesn't disappear. Don't think about this. Leave your seat wherever you are and walk down the aisle closest to you. I'm going to pray with you right to the altar. Come on in all our churches on the balcony. Move to the side. Come down the steps. Come on. Don't think about it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You have a merciful Savior waiting for you tonight. Come on. Leave your seat and come to the altar tonight. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, let's cheer them on. Take your friend by the hand and walk them to the altar tonight. Bring your wife, bring your husband, bring your friend, bring your relative. Come on, down there in Cape Town, wherever you are, whoever you are, run into the everlasting arms of God tonight. Receive a fresh start, a new beginning. Receive forgiveness. Of all your sin tonight. Come on. Come on, Fanon. Come on, Fanon. God brought with your heart, Fanon. You have a free. 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 Fanon is your time. Om your life to give. Word, Jesus, a king. Because that's what Jesus said. Hello, what's your skin? 
Hij is al die koninkrijk van God beërbe. Word weer die kind van hom. Oh, there's many more of you. You were like that child in Sunday school. Get back to that place tonight. Get back to that relationship with God tonight. Get back to Jesus. Giving Him His rightful place. Come on. Oh, He loves you. Nobody leaving the auditorium while people come to Christ. Thank you. Even if you're a guest here, respect what God is doing. That's how it is. Thank you. Even a standing to attention, you're not running for your car. Sorry. Come, 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 come. Come to Jesus. Traffic this way only. This way. You can't. honor to pray with all of you standing here tonight. God loves you. Playing with a child as well. God loves you. You know, life is a way to break you, to hurt you, and to mess you up. Jesus came, and I'll say it to people all the time, because we don't need religion. Our world is in trouble because of religion. Because religion is mean-spirited. Religion is filled with Christian knowledge without any love. This Christmas season is a season for sharing God's love, giving, not talking, loving people. Nee, nee, die over het lijk soos jy nie. Nee, ek kan my drie pelle nie. Daar is een gebroke wereld daar buiten, en Jesus het gekom met die wereld te heel, en die kerk moet wakker word in Zuid-Afrika, en ophou die christen spelletjie speel. Die kerk in Zuid-Afrika, die verantwoordelikheid, om met die land te heel, die kerk, Nie die mense wat godsdienst speel nie, die kerk, ek en jy, waar hierdie Jesus ding een werkelijkheid word vir ons, en waar ons brug bou, en waar ons rasse grense oorskry, and where we get close to the pain of people, there's people standing here tonight, before they walked in here, they look okay, you all look okay by the way, but, um, people are hurt, People are broken. And if Christianity loses that, it's the worst religion on planet earth. Because it's a religion then that doesn't care. It cares for nobody. It's self-centered. He came to heal you. And he has the thing about Jesus. He knows you better than anybody else. He loves you. He lifts you. No matter what you've done, how low you've sunk, he doesn't stand as your judge. And that's where people get it wrong. He stands as your savior. And all you have to do is come as you are. You come in a broken state. You come in a messed up state. You just come. He's the fixer. He's the healer. He's the savior. So I want you to trust him tonight. No matter what your story is, he knows your story. He knows everything. It's like people think they can just do what they want and God doesn't see. He sees and he weeps over you. He cares about you. And the people standing here tonight that have hardened their hearts, that refuse to give their lives to Jesus. I don't know what the future holds for you. You had this one moment. 
whether you will get a moment like this again. I don't know. Because you cannot get saved without God touching you. And if He touched you tonight and you chose to close your heart, I pray to God that you get another chance before you die to experience God touching your heart. And that you actually respond to that. And not shut God out for whatever reason, which I don't understand. I pray to God that you will find Him. I really do, because I feel in my heart grief that there are people here that should be down here and you're just doing this to God. Don't do that. No matter how successful you are, no matter how great you are, no matter what your title is, when you die, you die like everybody else. This president will die like the poorest man in South Africa. He will die and he will leave this planet. His billions will stay behind and he's going to leave. And he's going to go and give account to God as every human being will. So let's never forget what this is all about, right? Amen. Amen. Just put your hand on your heart tonight. Everybody pray this. Pray even there God will be merciful to you where you are tonight. Say this tonight. Say, Jesus, tonight I give my heart back to you. Thank you for loving me so much that you came into this world as my Savior. You went to the cross and you took all my sin and faced God's judgment on my behalf. You died for me. You went to hell in my place but you rose again and you are alive tonight i acknowledge that you are the savior the messiah the lord and tonight i open my heart and i accept you as my lord and my savior unashamedly forgive my sin wash me in your blood give me the power to be a child of god thank you for a new beginning a fresh start in Jesus' name. I'm born again. I'm your child. And sin has no power over me any longer. In Jesus' name, I'm free. Forgiven. Give God a praise. Come on, that yoke, that burden is lifted off of you tonight. Broken, lifted in the name of Jesus. Um, yeah, God's touching you in a special way and I wish I could pray for each one of you um, pray with your kids every night parents don't be an irresponsible parent raise your child in the house of God get your child in church every Sunday raise a generation that will love God like that little Sunday school illustrator because what you train your child to love your child will love the Bible says we train our children in the ways of God. We don't ask them, we train them. We train them. We bring them to the house of God. We educate them in the ways of God. Or there will be a generation that will have no relationship with God. So maybe the, one of the greatest responsibilities we have as parents is to bring our kids to church every Sunday. Please hear me very carefully. For a paar na moet kerk op sondag nooit optie wees nie. Voor een man en pa, wat kinder sê, moet kerk nog minder optie wees. Jy geer hy kind nie een kees nie. Jy kweek een liefde vir die dinge van, vir die, vir, jy kweek een liefde vir die dinge van God in die hart van een kind. Jy as die ouwer kweek dit. Jy los nie vir hy kind om self te besluit nie. Jy is nie die regering wat nou chaos wil saai in die skole nie. En kinders wil verwar nie. Jy is een kind van God. Jy is een man of een vrou van God. Jy onderrug en leer jou kinders in die weer van God. Jy los het nie. In ander mense sy hande wat christenskap uit die skole uit weggeneem het nie. En wat moet hulle dwaasheid nou in die skole wil kom om kinders dier mekaar te maak nie. Meer as ooit moet jy as een ouwe verantwoordelikheid neem vir jou kindse toekomst. Jy is nie een ouwe dier gewildheid nie. Jy is een ouwe dier wat jy gedoen het. Ja. So jou kind het nie gewoot om in die wereld in te kom nie. Jou kind is die gevolg van jou woot. 
Nou het hy kind geen woud nie. Nie as ek by die dinge van die Heere uitkom nie. Ouwers word wakker. There are many, many things that are talking to your children. I feel in my spirit to say this to you tonight because there's many adults here tonight. You didn't come to church this morning because you're here tonight to come and watch the kids, etc. But I don't need you to go, ah, oh, ooh, beautiful. What about your child? Your child. When that child is born, you bring that child and you raise that child in the house of God. In that baby room, in the cry room, okay, not the cry room, the celebration room, you, you bring that child. I don't care what an effort it is. You bring your child to the house of God and you cultivate a love for the things of God because this world is designed to rob the image of God from our children. And the craziness that is trying to come through our education system into our schools is not something you can ignore. You have to be very vigilant to train your child in what is right. And part of that is God first and you have to demonstrate it. Meaning on a Sunday, you get yourself dressed, you kick your husband out of bed. Nie jou man sit aan en sê, my liefie, kom ons le nog bykie in nie. Nie jou man, jy kan later kom le. Klim uit die bed uit jou leiding. Jy het gister gele, jy het vrijdag gele, nou wil jy weer le. Wat is fout met jou? Ons kinders man, luister vir my. Ons kinders, ons kinders, ons kinderse kinders, ons klein kinders. You get passionate for God and you bring your children back. In the new year, you get your children in the house of God. If you're a single mother and your boy gets all rebellious with you, you give him no option. He's not the parent. You are. You are the parent. You raise that child. Every time you bring your child to church, you're investing in your child. Every time you bring yourself, you're investing in yourself. So we're leaving this casual Christianity behind us. And 2023, you make up your mind. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We will serve God. Come rain, come sunshine, whatever, we will serve God. Listen to me. Listen. You can't be this neutral Christian. Voices are talking to your children all the time. Social media, these online games that they play, this whole world that they get caught up into, losing their personalities because they are disengaging. You can't allow it. Raise your child in the ways of God. You'll give account for your child before God because he's yours. She's yours. You'll give account for the ways you raised your children. Please hear me very carefully tonight. You may never come back to this church like what I have to say, but you have a, par- you have a child, become the parent that's responsible for the, Christ- for the spiritual upbringing of that child. Full stop. No debate, no discussion. It's your first responsibility. Amen? And if you're planning to have a child, count the cost. Don't when you have a baby, you sit at home because you comply, complain about the bottles and the feeding and nappies, etc. Bring your nappy, change your child. We've got facilities. So. Amen. Okay, genoeg now. But I get distracted when I see kids because, yeah, they are giving their hearts to the Lord because you brought them to church. Beautiful. Please turn to my right. We want to give you a Bible, pray for you. All of you just go this way, please. Don't worry, we're not doing anything weird. We want to pray with you, give you a Bible, see how we can help you, because we care about you. I said, believe in all the churches, go with the pastors. Come on, this is amazing. This is amazing. Everybody matters. And I'll say it while we clap. Why should we lose our children to the world? Why? 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 Why should the world get a hold of our children then we try to get, it, get them saved later on? Why? Why? When we can raise them for God. 
Why? Beautiful. Look at all these kids. Come on, while we clap, everybody that was involved in the production, especially those children, not especially the children, everybody come back on the platform. Carla, come. Where's Carla? Come, Carla. And we want to honor you all. Come, Bakisa. Come, kids, take, come stand here to my right. This is my right. Come all these kids and the angels, the angels on my left, the angels. How brilliant were these kids, amen, how confident were these children, come on. I mean, that's the kind of child I want to raise up, your confidence, all of you. Big kiss, big hug to all of you, I'm so proud of you. You did amazing, amazing. You did amazing. I still get butterflies every Sunday I have to preach, you didn't even have one butterfly. So you were confident, you were bold, you were brave, you were brilliant, you looked good on the cameras. So thank you. You rehearsed a lot. You did amazing. Come on, man, give them a big hand clap, these kids. Come on. And then all our dancers. And listen, by the way, these are all volunteers. They're not paid professionals. They're all volunteers. All the singers are members of CRC, the orchestra, volunteers, the camera people, volunteers. The sound people, volunteers. The people that work behind the scenes, volunteers. This is Afrikaans is groot wat allemaal professioneel is en allemaal wordt betaald nie. This is Christians sacrificing their time without getting paid a cent to be a blessing to you. So I think you can give them a big, big, big standing ovation. All these camera people. It's a lot of work that goes into something like this. I mean, the kids alone. I mean, there were so many microphones that how the sound people kept their bearings is brilliant and they all know, you know, my, that's why I sit on the edge of my seat because I want everything super excellent. And you were excellent, amazing, two glitches. Apart from that, everything was... No, and the glitches were whatever. The batteries were off. But further on, because uh, I look at that screen to see what the TV audience sees, you did a great job. Because we're showing, we're talking to millions of people through these lenses. This is a fraction of the people that we actually influenced tonight. So thank you, everybody. The dancers, amazing. The, the orchestra, the sound men, the singers. Come on, how brilliant are those voices? And then Carla, come here. So she's a, a, our creative arts director. So I mean, listen, to put this together, because you know, I'm Mr. Busybody. Um, it's like, I'm saying, who's gonna dance, who's gonna dance, and it's like, this is the Irma Carspel, kijk eens zo, it's like, you can think, you're working with 20 kids, so welcome to Afrikaans. You're working with 20 kids, you're working with everything. It's like holy chaos, but then on the night, it just all comes together. What a great job tonight. Your creativity is beautiful, wonderful. You always wow me. Thank you. We love you. We celebrate you. Thank you for raising up all this great um, people. The actors as well, of course. And who did I leave out? The costume and the makeup. The what? And all the props. You mean these are, are these plants people? No. And the camera people, etc. It's amazing. God bless you. Love you. All of you. Love you. Great, great, great job. Beautiful. Fantastic. Amazing. Those voices were spectacular. Uh, on pitch was my ur aquaradan. So it was very, very good. Very good. Come on, give them one more hand clap tonight. Amen. Okay, bring my bear. Bring my bear. Bring my bear. Quick, 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 quick. Bring my bear. I'm taking my bear home tonight. Okay.
if you haven't brought your teddy bear, we have a, a campaign now that we are taking teddy bears, bears, not bears. So, not a a cast beer on bring me. I'm not talking about beer. I'm talking about bears. So, all the bears of the boyfriends that left you, bring them bears. We're gonna hand them out into hospitals. We wanna bless thousands of children. Not we want to. We are. We're also buying. Uh, a lot of bears. We've ordered every bear that is for sale. So you're not going to get a bear for Christmas. But bring, So we're asking you to bring your teddy bear. And um, we are going to go to all the uh, hospitals, especially children that are terminally ill. And then we're going to go to the poorest of the poorest. And we want to give people love. Amen. Starting with children. Hey, a groot beer. Blikskorrel. Jy is amper so groot soos ek. Maar jy sag, jy sag. Jy sag. So it's by means it's a Christian cup. So a teddy bear sach. Huh? I'll take you home. <laughs> Bring a bear and show you care. And this festive season, come on, put a smile on somebody's face. Go love on somebody. Share love with people. Give hope to people. Let's make this world a better place. People are hurting. People are suffering. When you're on social media, don't be mean. Don't engage in uh, derogatory comments and things like that. There's enough of that. There's enough stupid people and crazy people like that out there. You'll be different. You'll be loving. You'll be kind. You'll be gentle. And uh, when you go to the restaurant and you know, three days in the drink, I mean, you give me a tip of more than 30 grand. And look at those waiters in the eye. And thank them. Put honor. Put dignity on people. Ask them, what is your name? When you fill your car, look at the petrol attendant and say, thank you for your kindness. Don't sit there all irritable. Let's show people that there are people that actually care. Here is a swar beer. I think it's overgewig. So... We're expecting your bears to come fast and furious. To rai beere wat jou man jou gegeet wat in elk geval in die kas is, bring hulle en jou man sal nie eens weet nie. And let's uh, just share love with people everywhere. Amen. God bless you, we love you. We're going to receive an offering. Take your seat for a second. And um, no one moving around now, not because we want to force you to give. It's for security reasons. A few weeks ago, they tried, or a week ago, they tried to hijack my son, my daughter, and in uh, any case, uh, God protected them, so we keep our people safe when they come to church. So that's why we lock our doors, we've got security, so don't test us, we are well prepared for your stupidity and your nonsense, if you ever think you can. So it's merely for people's protection, amen? So it's your moment to bless God's work. Well, we listen to a last anointed item. God bless you. Love you in Jesus' name. Amen. On the hair, rolled angels sing glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth. And mercy mild, guard and sin as we consult. Joyful, all ye nations, rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic posts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. See? 
righteousness, light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings. Light he lays his glory by, for that man no more may die, born to raise the sons of earth, born to give a second birth. Hide the hair of angels sing, glory to Light and life to all he brings Risen with healing in his wings Mild he lay his glory by More than men, no more may die Born to raise the sons of the Amen. Let's just close our eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity that we can have to give into your house, Lord. As we saw tonight, the greatest gift ever given was by you. You loved us so much that you gave your only begotten Son. Father, this afternoon we pray that everyone who gave into the offering may be pressed down, shaken together, running over in their, in their lives. Father, use that finances, Father, to further your kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, we bless you, and we honor you. And everyone says amen and amen. Family, have a fantastic evening. Next week, bring your world. Amen. Hallelujah. The year again to be a blessing. We are going to give bears, many, many, many bears, to children all over Pretoria, Bloemfontein, and Johannesburg. Give your bear and show that you care in Jesus' name. Amen.